Uh, and we have a sketch, I put up in the notes, which are 138 pages. Uh, there's a uh, Road to the North Pole, full score, and, a, and, a, and the piano vocal that I did first, which is, I always have to do the piano and vocal on the songs a year in advance. That was a, like a main title, and I wrote two of them. Thank you, I was thinking Corn Gold at the time, and, and I wrote a really cool one, I had different themes. And uh, then Seth said, you know, we have the two songs from the show, uh, one is the one what Walter Murphy did, um, uh, All I Really Want for Christmas, and then the other one was the one that Seth and I did called uh, Christmas Time is Killing It. He said, can you make that into a main title? I said, but Seth, you only gave me 30 seconds to do, <laughs> and the songs were like each two and a half minutes long, like how do you, so I truncated everything down to the most, you know, to make sense, but that was, that was really a challenge to, to uh, cut that into two things. So it, it looks easy, but it was uh, crazy. Let's try the uh, next one here. I just thought it would be fun to show you that because like in, in comedy, you'd think that you would hit everything. And I'm sure you've had other guests come in and talk about this, but I'm always a straight man. I never do anything funny. I never call attention to the jokes. It's much drier. Therefore, you're, you're kind of, you know, it's a serious montage and the character's driving and it says, you know, welcome to Massachusetts, enjoy our potato-headed women. I mean, you're, you know, that, that's funny. But if I was to go, rip, you know, and do something to it, it would, it would lose some of its coolness. The way, that, um, the way that I sketch, the way that my process works, and you'll find that with the notes, it's like a goodie, a goodie box, the, the notes that I gave you. They're not, lots of them, are, half the, 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 the notes are templates for people to use, because that's how I, I use templates. I try to think non-linearly. One thing that's in the, in the notes somewhere in there embedded is a thing like how to use, pro, how to use uh, iTunes. And um, Mike and I were talking about, like he's teaching all the students how to use technology. I say, look, you know, that's fab fantastic, but I, the way I would course correct what I do is I consider technology to be a screwdriver in a toolbox. It's a really cool screwdriver, you know, with all the cool things on it, but it ain't the car. It's not, it's the screwdriver, it's the tool. What is the uh, division of labor among your team? Uh, I write every note. I interface with the gorillas at the, at the studio, and it's my name, so it's Ron Jones Music, and I do that. Uh, and what happens is that uh, I'm doing a lot of work before the guys even get involved. You know, I'm like scoring and coming up with themes. While I'm waiting for the notes to come from the spy session, because there's a music editor, assistant music editor, you know, and they're giving me notes, like cute old cute fashioned things, you know, when you start with some time code, go to there with real time and all that. I get those notes, it takes about a day and a half to get notes. Because we've got four shows going on, you know, it's just American Dad, uh, Family Guy, Cleveland Show, and other stuff. So, so I'm waiting, you know, so while I'm waiting, I'm, I'm doing that research, I'm, I'm getting themes together, I'm getting all that, so I'm kind of getting my toy box ready to go. All right, so we kind of got started and we, I'm hoping to stay on the track and, and, and a couple of people came up and they said, can you talk about specific things? And now we're getting more specific. Uh, on that song, I thought it'd be interesting for you to see kind of the building materials of putting that song together and what went on to it, because it was, uh, it was really a process, and I think that process is, is, is worth fleshing out a little bit. Music is freaking easy. You know, if I was running college, you would be done in, with your music classes in three months. As soon as you could do Mary Had a Little Lamb, I'd say, now let's talk about the shit that really matters. So the real stuff is eye to eye, and it's funny when we're spotting, Seth is sitting in a chair, and he's become more Howard Hughes-ish. Every, every year he gets a little bit, you know, nobody coughed, you know. Somebody wearing 
weird perfume, get out of here. I mean, it gets weird, very weird about stuff. The, since we're talking about spotting and going through the whole thing, so the way this is going to work is that first version is just going to be the show the way I get it. No music, just dialogue, no effects, nothing. Time code running on it. The next one is the orchestra, is the session. This one's down here, uh, not that one, but this one. And this clip will have the orchestra doing the cue at the session. With, and you'll see picture in the background. And then on that same clip, it'll cut to the dub of everything. So you can see kind of the progression of what had to be assembled. You know, I had to know the show, had to know the scene. I had to instantly figure out a click, figure out what I was going to hit, do all this mechanics. As I put also, there must be four pages of reading, you know, four pages of books. Uh, really, don't Google your way through life. Uh, you got an eight hour day. How much time should be spent on music and how much time should be spent on building your business? 